Yo, what is happening, you mangy hookers? Galactic Criminal here in Tute. We got a brand new one from Trap Metal Superstar, my boy, Nick Nock. And I gotta tell you, I couldn't fucking believe it the first time I reacted to this shit that not only was it not just for satire or parody's sake, he actually took it seriously, but my dude had also acquired himself some sick fucking growls that I cannot get enough of. Even when it comes down to the cringier than fuck TikTok clips of him screaming over classic pop tunes. But the knock returns with a brand new single and I'm excited to check it out. So with that said, let us dig in Nick Knock Burnout with a one, two, three. shit is fucking crazy dude it's fucking it's absolutely crazy i've heard some trap metal here and there um I, I, i've said before i'm not like the biggest fan of it i don't go chasing it down sometimes it can be pretty cool um like it's a corpse or whatever i, I, I haven't heard very many artists i've had a couple of reactions on the channel to some but this is just this is different this is very very different to me to a lot of the trap that i've heard much much heavier more guitar driven of course being Nick Nock. It's not Nick Nocturnal. It looks like him, but it's not him. It's a different guy. You can tell because the tattoo on his face. Mask. <laughs> I really, I really, really liked this. The new metal influence to it was very evident. I think that's what he said to me. Uh, he was trying to like add to it. Um, but I, I feel, I feel, I definitely feel it there in the guitar work, and it was just. A lot gnarlier than I thought it was going to be. I think I enjoyed this one more so than I did the last one. The last one, I watched it twice. I almost watched this one, tw this one twice as well. Um, wow. And the vocals got even better than the last time. Uh, maybe that's like a mixing thing. Maybe there's like some layering for the vocals. I I'm sure there's some of that there. But like, especially toward the end the here, man, just the fucking... The rhythm of, of the vocals and just the, the gritty, just gnarly nature of them. He could be in a fucking deathcore band, I think. That is fucking fantastic. What a great way to highlight a, a, a new skill, being the vocals, uh, in, in such a cool way. I think he did say uh, in an interview that I saw that initially it was going to just be a parody thing. It was going to be a one-off parody thing, but they ended up, you know, the guy he was working with, they ended up uh, taking it a little bit more seriously. Like, what if he actually tried this? And, and did it the right way. Would that be cool? 
and it is. I, I, I most certainly think it is. I don't know that I'm going to start listening to a whole lot of trap metal, but I'm definitely going to be listening to these singles that he's put out. And a cool music video as well. <laughs> that was heavy, dude. I got to give you props on the on the vocals. Like the, the, the track is sick, but the vocals are what really, really impressed me on this. I, I'm actually looking forward to hopefully seeing Nick, if you're watching this, you maybe do a, a singular project, like one shot song of it just being you on vocals. Just to see, just to see what you're capable of and if that's something that you might want to be doing in the future. I don't know, it's obviously up to you, but I'd be interested in seeing something like that as well. This was cool, what the rest of you fuckers think of it? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, there'll be a link in the description for this video as you can to watch it for yourself on screen for audio and get the full experience. And as always, have yourself a fantastic evening.